password has been changed, right? So go ahead and log into her profile. All right, good job. So here's the thing. If Stacy, please stay to see. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about all these commands later on. Um, and can somebody type for, for her, please, in the chat too? Um, and then this way it's be a little easier for us. So when you set up this profile, is this a work group profile or is this a domain profile? I'm, I'm, I don't know the difference, if I'm being honest. Okay, so if you don't know the difference, ask somebody to help you out. Is this, ask somebody to say, help, help me out. Is this a work group profile or is this a domain account? Does IT anyone team. Want what? Yeah. Go ahead. Domain, you said domain, right? Me? No, I said, does anyone want to help or should I jump in? Because I answered the last one, so I want to okay, get people. Okay, okay. This is a domain account. This is a domain account. So now, remember, I think you learned something yesterday. You learned some pretty cool commands yesterday. What should you do to actually confirm this type of stuff, Abdul? Uh, who am I? Who am I? Uh, who, am, who, am, who am I? And then flash. you had... Yes, go ahead and give it a try. Let's, let's show you DM. All right. Some people are saying to check your properties. It will say domain. Yes, that's also correct. But even if you log in as a local account, it's still going to say you're joined to a domain. This is another way for you guys to actually confirm everything. But are you typing something wrong here? F, yes, fully qualified domain name. So watch this now. Now it clearly tells you that you're a part of domain, right? Which container, which user, which is the domain name, right? Mm -hmm. Everything is in there. So clearly that's there. Okay. That's good stuff right there. Um, now, here's the thing. If Stacy gets locked out, let's say, let's assume she got locked out. And she call you that, hey, I wanna, I remember my password, but I don't wanna change it yet. Can you unlock me? So you already know that you can go to Active Directory and unlock a user, right? Yes. So let's say Stacy got locked out. How would you unlock her from your from your machine, help desk machine? Can you show it to us? Please? Sure. So I'm going back to my help desk machine right now. Okay. I would go add to Active Directory. All right. And I would, since I have Stacy's profile right here. Perfect. And. Mm -hmm. I'm double clicking it. Profile. All right. Yeah, there we go. Ah, OK, good here. job. It's a little hidden area for a lot of people. So new people usually make this mistake. They just click on reset password. Remember, she's not she's even asking you to don't reset my password, right? Yeah. She's specifically asking you. Now, here's the thing. She's asking you now that, hey, how many times do I need to try before I get locked out? How would you find that? Now, you found out from local policies. How would you find it out from command line? You just did that command. Can, can that command show you that, by the way? What was that command? Everybody, was, was it net user? What was that? Net accounts, right? Yes, net accounts. So does that show you? Does that show you that how many times can you try to get locked out? Can you try that? Can you find out? Yes, so we have it open right here and it does show the lockout threshold of five times. Perfect. Now here's the thing. She's calling you now. I'm going on a vacation. I but I don't want to change my password. Can you tell me how many days are remaining in my password? Twenty four days. What's that sorry? 24 days, the length of password history. How many, how many days are remaining for my password to get expired? Let me make it mm -hmm. correct. 42 days, the maximum password age. Yeah, but that's, that's the maximum password age. That's the age of the password. Mm -hmm. 
So if it's after five days, it's not going to be 42. It's going to be something less than that, right? Mm -hmm. So how would you tell her? Maybe her account is getting expired the next day. She needs to know that. Does anybody know anything on this? Is it net account user and then... Um, Give it a try. Try name? type it. You, you say you should type net. Net account. Net. User and then the user's name. I can't remember if that's it though. Okay, net accounts. Put net accounts in there. And then mm -hmm. put the username. Or that's what you're saying, right? Stacy? Yes. Okay. Or no, user and then Stacy. Oh, users and then user and then Stacy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Raining. Uh, probably not. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Okay. So what does it tell you? Nope. Can you remove the accounts from there? Maybe you can type net user. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Net users and then user. users with an S or no, just user? Just, 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 just user. And do I add Stacy at the end or no? Try it, try it. I mean, people have to help you out with this. Put Stacy. Because you're asking about a specific user. It, it would be, it would be uh, net space user. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. And then space the username, and then space slash domain. Space oh. slash domain, domain or or the domain. actual just name. Domain. Of just, okay. just domain. No, no, not just domain. Enter. There so, we go. What did you just find right now? So What's the that? day the password expires. Yes, but yeah. look look on the top. It says password expires. What? Nine four twenty two. No, no. Look on the top. Password expires. Never. Password. Never. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But but did you find a, a a command that can really help you with these questions? Right. These are all crappy questions. Like you cannot just uh, you know go out there and uh, if you didn't know about this stuff, then of course it's gonna like, put some stress on you, right? Or you're gonna yes. have to you're gonna have to go back to like your directory or group policy. If you have access to group policy, I think that's the easiest way to just run a report copy it, put it in front of your box right there, right? Or somewhere at least you have it right there. But if you didn't know about this, then people can actually test you on these things. Now, if you, okay, the reason I am making people understand this stuff is like this. You go to the interview and they're hiring somebody for entry level position. There's a college student who says, I don't know anything. I just came out of the college. I have a book knowledge. So the book knowledge person will not be able to do this. You, on the other hand, went with the same skills, but you know this stuff. You have done some practice on this stuff. So you sat on the, you know, the, in the interview and you were able to do these things. So it makes more common sense to me as a manager to hire you, most of the cases, unless you have behavioral issues, unless you have a soft skills issues, maybe that may be a big factor, but technically this would be a win-win for you. Right, so this is why we say skills and experience. Experience is what you you do something and you get that experience. Wins over everything else in IT. That's most of the time, right? So make sure you guys understand this. Okay. Um, all right. So let's close that, and now we're moving on uh, to something different. Now, Stacy is basically saying that I need to download my office. Outlook, now my, you know, this is a common request from Office 365. So for the first thing I want to ask you, how do you log into Office 365? This is a very big skill too. A lot of people need to know this these days. It's raining, so you guys might hear some. Okay, uh, before that, do we want to answer the questions in Zoom? What's that, sorry? Oh, uh, right. card. Yeah, there's some someone asking questions in the Zoom chat. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys can definitely ask questions. People One are second. watching the text. Sorry, there's two questions. So, uh, Rahil on uh, YouTube is saying, but without having account with a net with an admin rights, you can't run net users and some other commands. Is this correct? Now, with the net accounts, you can run, but the main thing is that the expirations and stuff like that, you can't run. That's true. But here's the thing. This is for a help this person, right? He's a help this. So he does have access to all of this stuff. So he needs, he have this access. Most of the cases when you become a help this person, you have this access. 
So the, the, main, the main thing about this is that it's not for users. This, this kind of skill testing is for him as a helper. So he, he, he got a powerful access. And most of the time they are kind of like a domain level on the computers. They can do anything, uh, domain admin level. But of course we can restrict it down to more, uh, you know, delegate level on the OUs. You can say, okay, I want only this OU people to be accessing this many desktops or this many servers. You can really do that kind of stuff. Yeah. It, it depends. Are you feeling better? Yes, sir. I'm feeling better. I don't know if you're asking me. Oh, I think he's done. Okay. So moving on. Um, and some of the questions, of course, I'm going to have to keep it to the last because if this is going to become more of like training, right? It's going to be too long to even get to our stuff. So how would you get into Office 365? Let's say, for example, if you didn't have that page open right now, Abdul, where did you go to get that page? I was already open. It was already open. What is that one main common link that everybody should remember for Office 365? It's just a, it's a universal link. Everybody should know that. I don't, I don't remember it, but is, are you talking about the one for the admin center for Office 365? Yes. And you can ask for help, by the way, you have Haifa yeah. in your team. So you can say, Haifa, can you help me? Can I, can I get some help? Haifa, can you please help me with the cherry on top? No, how dare you ask me for help. <clears throat> it's portal.office.com. Can you guys okay. hear me okay? Because Donna, she keeps playing with your headphones. My, I, I, think you. my, I think my headphones is having issues. It's like it's some voices are coming very blurry. Like it's like very, I don't know. It's, it's not blurry. It's like, it's like I hear, uh, I have a hard like, time hearing. Okay. Yeah. Like the, the, there you go. Something with the speakers. I guess. So okay. portal.office.com. So portal.office.com. Of course, you got to be an admin to see an admin option in there. So most of the time, help just is an admin. Man. Other people are an admin. So let me ask you a quick question. Do you know how to add a user in Office 365? Yes. Go ahead and give it a try. Sorry, uh, one second. I'm going to jump in here. Uh, I was reading an article from uh, Microsoft the other day, and I don't know if I haven't tried it, but um, could you try this for me in a, in a web page? Instead of portal.office.com, could you try admin.office.com? From what I understand, they changed it from portal to admin. They have multiple links. It may work, yeah. It may, it may be a one, another option. But Ad, okay, so that's incorrect. Okay. But they, they, have, they have like office365.outlook.com. You can go from multiple ways, but it opens different applications. Okay. So you could open an admin and make it a favorite, and that would be a different link. But one link that you guys all should remember is just portal.office.com. Mm -hmm. It's very basic, generic. So... How would you add a user in Office 365? Okay, great job. Yeah, it should be talking. So I opened the navigation menu. I went to users, I went to active users. And then really what I'm looking for is a plus sign with the user icon, which is right here. Okay. And add user. and. Here we have the whole setup for adding a user. Oh, Try to perfect. zoom out so it fits the page better. Okay. So now Stacy is oh, calling sorry. you. Yeah, it's too too small. I think people won't be able to All see. Right, there we go. So Stacy is calling you right now from her home machine. She's not inside the business, um, in, inside the uh, inside the company, and she said that I want to download Outlook and I want to run Outlook on my home machine, uh, but I want to download. Where would she go and do that? That's a very common call, right? She, everybody needs Outlook to access. So where would where would she go and do, go back? There's a home machine in your lab, and that's called home machine actually. So you mm -hmm. go back in there and log into that home machine on the right side. Yep. First of all, I want you to verify that this, is this on domain or not. So again, we're gonna run the who am I okay. command forward slash FQDN. All right. So is it on domain or not? No, it's not on domain. Okay. If, if that's not like what I, like, for example, if I say, is, is there a second method for you to find out very clearly from a graphical method GUI? Would, would, what would that be? Like, is this machine in a word group or a domain? So uh, then that method would be, I'll go to this PC. Okay. I would right click this PC. I would go into properties. 
and I'm looking for right here and, and it says it belongs to a word group here. It belongs to word group, word group. So what does that mean? Is it managed or not managed? Uh, I'm not sure because once they're both saying different things now. Okay. If it says domain, is it managed? Yes. If it says word group, is that managed? No. No. Word group is basically not managed most of the time. In, when people are asking you stuff like that in the company, it's going to be, they're asking you about the domain client, server client type of thing, right? So if it's not connected to the domain, it's not managed, right? Because every time you buy a laptop or a desktop from a Best Buy, those are not managed. That's your personal computer, right? So another person cannot log into your laptop when you buy from that Best Buy or, that, or somewhere like privacy, right? Mm -hmm. But here, you could log into other machines with your account but your account will not work on her machine right here because this is a work group machine. So here's the thing. She's asking you, can I download Outlook and how would you do that from Office 365? Jamie, yes, everybody will be able to see this video on YouTube. It's, it's recording right now. It's gonna be on YouTube. In, in two, three hours, it's gonna be the same video. So I, I think there she can go to the web portal, portal.office.com, yeah. and then they would give her the option to download the office. Can you find that option where that would be? Like, would you like us to show, show us that? Where can you find that option? Yeah, sure. So I would open up Internet Explorer. And then portal.office.com, okay. Okay, so you're just gonna go in there and basically, uh, you know, log in with that. So don't worry about that. This is kind of like the, the test that I wanted to see if you knew you could get into the portal. So 